Hello and welcome to the show. Today I am going to be playing Faster Than Light. It is an incredibly addictive, stupidly, stupidly addictive um, kind of indie game. Uh, it was the Steam sale kind of a couple of days ago. This was like 175 or something and I couldn't resist. And it really is a fantastic game. Uh, I think normally it's only like six quid. Uh, if you haven't played it, I really do recommend you give it a go. Uh, because it's just ridiculously good fun. Incredibly irritating, but very, very good fun. Um, anyway, yes, the idea of the game is you pilot a spaceship. Here's my one. Um, and you, you're trying to outrun some a rebel fleet. And you've got to get to the end and then kill a big rebel boss. I'm playing on easy at the moment because I am a noob and I still cannot complete it. I got to the final sector and then promptly died halfway through and I lost my entire crew. It's a really quite a, a devious game, very tricky. There is a certain element of luck as well because the encounters and areas are all randomly generated each time you play. So yes, it's, it's always quite interesting. Anyway, um, I've only unlocked two ships, uh, I'm afraid. This one and this one. There are many more to unlock. That one looks rather rude. Uh, there are many ships to unlock um, that I, I haven't got, got to yet. I'm going to be using this one at, at the moment because I prefer it over this one. This one you rely on uh, an EMP cannon thing and you have drones. You can like send out little robot things to attack for you. Um, and it works kind of well, but uh, I, I prefer the more conventional rocket and machine gun kind of thing. Um, so yes, we're going to have a go. We're going to see how far I can get through this before hopelessly dying. Uh, let's, let's rename let's rename the ship. Uh, da -da -da. We're going to call it HMS Fail Race. There we go. We're going to see how far how far we can get to HMS Fail Race before it is inevitably destroyed by everything. Uh, press enter on there. Uh, we can customise our crew uh, between male and female. You can get other crew members on different ships. Uh, you can get uh, like aliens and stuff that have special bo bonuses and benefits um, but as I said I haven't unlocked anything because I'm terrible at uh, <laughs> this game uh, so we're going to have me we're going to have oh, if I could get the controls working Daniel and oh, press enter and we're going to have Stevie because I know Stevie is a massive fan of this game as well unfortunately it isn't multiplayer it is uh, only single player uh, ooh, what have I done there yeah, that was... What have I done? I, I can not spell your name. I apologise. There we go. That's what I was trying to type. My brain is not working today. There we go. So, that's our crew. Uh, and we are going to start. I'll make sure it's on easy mode. Otherwise, I'll die instantly. Um, oh, no. We're in a... Oh, was it Nebula already? Um, so, basically, the idea is... Uh, we're running away so, from some rebels. And we have to get out of the sector before the rebel fleet catches up with us. If the rebel fleet catches up with us uh, we're in a lot of trouble because they have much more powerful ships you can survive for a little while uh, i have done before but uh, yeah you you die very very quickly um so when you're in a nebula like this there are various uh, things it does at the moment it's knocked out my sensors uh, it's kind of hard to for me to explain all of this concisely um you will kind of get the idea as we go along now uh, we're going to put stevie He's going to be in charge of weapons. That sounds dangerous. Uh, I am going to be in charge of flying, and Daniel can be in charge of shields. Now, there's all of these different rooms. Each have their own little function. So you've got your oxy oxygen supply over there. That's quite important. Uh, you have your engines. You have a medical bay to heal up your crew if they get injured. Uh, you have the door controls, because you can op you can manually open and close these doors too, which we will get to in a little bit later. You have your sensors, which show you what's going on in your ship, or would normally, if it wasn't for the fact they were being knocked out. And then, of course, you've got your cockpit with all the drivery functions. Up here, you've got that's your fuel. Uh, you, you use one fuel per jump, and you will have to pick fuel up on the way or buy fuel. Uh, that's how many missiles you have. Um, which are used in, in missile launchers. Your normal energy weapons don't require any ammo. They do require time to charge, though. That's drone parts. If you have drones, you can fire them and use drone parts. That's scrap, which is effectively your currency. Uh, you, you'll get the idea as well. So, this is this is the little map. That's where we're trying to get to. Trying to to exit the sector to go on to the next one. If you've got like a little purple ring around it, it means it's a nebula, which that means there will be some some problem in this case it's going to be disrupting the sensors um if we go down there distress beacon is kind of like a quest so we're going to go over there and see what it is and peter what have we got to do you arrive at the beacon and there's a pirate ship ah no 
You cheeky pirates. Uh, you never quite know what's going to happen. It's all randomly kind of generated. So it could have been a civilian ship that needed help. And if we'd helped it, we would have got stuff. In this case, it's a pirate. So we're going to kill the pirate. Now, <laughs> the pause button is very, very useful in this. It gives you chance to kind of do all the stuff. Uh, if you were trying to do this in real time, it's very tricky. It's very, very hectic. Um, this is this is incredibly, <laughs> incredibly hectic game. So you can see here, this is kind of your overview of the enemy ship. You've got all your little segments. So I'm going to try and fire my rockets at the shields. Take the shields down. And then I'm firing my energy weapons. Oh, they've hit someone. They hit Stevie. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, that was a, a vicious attack. Oh, no, they've taken out the power to the... M missiles. Fire another missile. This is being quite costly on missiles. Uh, we'll turn you off. Ah, oh, it's gone. Whew. That was a nasty first encounter. We've got three fuel, a couple of missiles, which is good because we used a couple up. We've taken one damage. Now, this here is your, is your health. Once that gets to zero, you're dead. Um, you have to spend scrap to repair yourself, and you can only repair yourself at certain stores. Um, which can get a little bit irritating <laughs> when you're trying to cruise around with, like, two health. Uh, yeah, it's quite tricky. Now, in the early sectors, they should be fairly easy, so I'm going to try and jump around a little bit more than I would normally to try and find some loot, to find some gear, so that uh, I can survive long enough. Uh, yeah, here's, here's like one of the choices you can get. Um, so we could aid the civilian ship. We will probably take damage. Uh, we'll be involved in a firefight. However, they might give us stuff, uh, although they might not. So I would tend to aid them. Or you can stay out of it, because your your job's not to be sort of space police. You're trying to get to the, to the Federation fleet uh, and save the world. That, um, in this case, I'm going to aid them because this is in the first sector. The ship should be fairly easy, and I'm going to need stuff. So, uh, yes, we are going to fight against a, a pirate ship. Uh, quickly pause everything, get all my weapons charging. We have enough power now. Uh, you can see down here, this is all the systems that are draining power, and that's how much power you have. Uh, so, stage number one, take out the shields uh, because it makes it easier to damage other stuff, and then take out the weapons. This is pretty much what all I, all I do. Occasionally, you might hit the O2 supply to try and kill the crew inside it because um, that can cause problems. Engine, if the thing's trying to kind of jump out of the sector, you might do... Ah! Rocket! Rocket, luckily it didn't do any damage. Uh, okay, so the shields are down there. Missile, or their weapons, sorry, are down. So we won't bother wasting another missile on them, don't need to. We might as well save some missiles for later encounters. Just fire the, uh, the laser beam, or whatever the hell it's called on here. And there we go. So we'll sa salvage some bits from the... Uh, Ah, they didn't give us anything. Damn you! We helped you! You should give us stuff for helping you. No. <laughs> um, okay, so if we jump... We're going to jump down here. Uh, we can't spend too long in here, because as you will see in a minute, the, the rebel fleet will start appearing. Uh, there is nothing here. That happens sometimes. Yeah, you can just see there. That's where the rebel fleet is, and if, if you end up in sort of their red zone, you're in a lot of trouble, because they have powerful ships. Uh, can I, if I jump there, I think I'm going to have to go up and up and across. Let's do that, and uh, <laughs> see how far we can go. Uh, yeah, I'm not fantastic at this game. Uh, you recognise the ship as a slave trader. He hails you and offers you labourers for cheap. Do we want another crew member? No, we don't want to attack him, though, because I don't want to risk my ship. Uh... This is the upgrade thing, as I said, with the scrap, you can buy stuff, you can also upgrade your ship. Uh, I'm primarily going to focus on shields early on to uh, try and give me a chance of surviving some of the uh, later conflicts. This down here is your reactor, which is for your power, which is very important uh, to power all of your things. So you can see there I've got one bar of power, but I need two to give myself, in effect, level two shields. So uh, next time I'll upgrade the reactor, and then we should be able to do that. Uh, there is a store there, but I think if I go there, I'm not going to be able to get, not going to be able to do that jump. So we're going to go up here. Uh, fuel is looking okay. Missiles are okay. Uh, you discover nothing. Ah, exciting stuff. Uh, yeah, if we go over here, then we should be able to jump out of the sector, and we would have got through the first bit, which is impressive. Uh, do we need any fuel? Uh, no, we don't need any fuel at the moment. We're okay. Uh, you can run out of fuel. If you run out of fuel, you basically stay stationary until somebody finds you. It can be somebody going to help you, or it could be a pirate that's going to destroy you, uh, or a rebel or something. Uh, we are here. Uh, you arrive at the damaged and di dilapidated. There we go. That was English. Space station. It appears to be abandoned, but you detect faint life signatures on board. Oh dear. Should we board the station and look for survivors? I think we will. All you, uh, all around you, the stench of death and decay. Life sign really must have been. Malfunctioning. Uh, okay, so we got some scrap from that. Not the most exciting um, <laughs> encounter, but at least nobody died. Uh, we're going to jump to the next sector. This is oh, this is a horrible run. Jesus, 
Uh, this randomly generates, so you'll have different sectors to go through each time. Um, civilian sectors tend to be a little bit safer. Nebulas are the thing that we started in, uh, where there's these sort of clouds that affect your sensors and cause other problems. Uh, this is a really nasty run because there is one civilian sector. Just because it's a civilian sector doesn't mean it's completely safe. There are still enemy ships, but it's generally a little bit nicer. Um, so we can either go to a rebel-controlled sector or we can go to a nebula. I'm going to go to a nebula for this one because uh, <laughs> I'm feeling brave. Oh, God. Um, so, yeah, as you can see now, I've lost all sight of all of my bits in my ship. Okay, this isn't going to be fun. Let's just jump around over here try not to get killed by pirates. <laughs> this game with the game. The crew constantly looking out the window, but there's nothing here. Well, that's that's being remarkably safe. If we jump there, there, or maybe there, there, there. Yeah, okay. But we'll carry on through here. It's a, it's a rather simple sort of concept to this game, but it's really very, very good. Uh, oh, we have a we have a rebel scout. Uh, oh, it's trying to escape. That's not good. Uh, fire on the engines on this thing, uh, and we'll fire a missile. Just one missile at its. Uh, that is a uh, weapon system. There we go. I know what I'm talking about. Come on, charge faster. I want you to fire. Uh oh, he's fired an EMP. Damn you. Oh no, oh no. Missile's incoming. Missile's incoming. Oh no, you took out my door control. God damn it. Uh, we'll send somebody in to repair it in a minute. I'm not doing anything. Go fix the doors. Go fix the doors. Um, not much use at the moment. Uh, but when you, when like sort of bits of your ship get set on fire, you can open doors to vent oxygen. Um, which is very useful for putting out fires because if you send your crew in they tend to take a fair bit of damage. Stevie's not on full health, go in there and uh, heal up. Right, I go back into here and Stevie's on full health again. Stevie can go back to doing missile work and then we are, ooh, can we upgrade? We can! We can have enough power now to put our shields. That's always useful. Let's jump to the next. I don't think we're going to make that. I think we're going to have to go keep going down. Oh, God. <laughs> it's going to be a lot. I need fuel. Um, ignore pirates. The fact that they're trying to attempt to void a ship. Um, should we? Yeah, we're in an early sector, so we might as well attack the pirates to try and get some fuel and missiles and stuff just to be kind of safe. Uh, take out the weapon system as well. We have nine missiles. That's all good. Uh, charge faster. Stevie, do a better job. Charge the weapons faster. Because they wouldn't want them to get the first shot. What guns have they got? Uh, that looks like a lasery thing. That's nasty. Um, luckily, we have. Oh, they're trying to escape, are they? Luckily, we now have better shields. So they can withstand a lot more damage. Uh, shoot out their engines. Because we don't want them getting away, do we? And uh, we, we want to loot them. Who knows what they're smuggling? And the engine's gone. And they've exploded. We've taken a little bit of damage. Ooh, look at that. 29 scrap. And a defense drone, which unfortunately we can't use at the moment because we don't have a drone room. Uh, the one disadvantage of this ship is I don't have a drone room at the moment. You can buy one or you can pick one up along the way, but it doesn't come with one as a standard. Whereas the other ship did the Engi Cruiser or whatever the hell it's called. Now, do we go there or do we go... Th uh, we're, I'm not going to mess around too much because I'll probably come across something I can't kill. No, me. You spot a rebel ship in the nebula head. Uh, no, we want to take it down. It's already got one bar of shield. We should... We should, uh, <laughs> should be able to take it out. Right, missile, the shields, and then laser beam, the, the what are they called? Weapon system, that one. Um, I don't. I tend not to really aim for much other. <laughs> They're the two important bits. Oh, they fired both their weapons at once. Luckily, my shields can withstand it, which is all good. Then their weapons are gone. Even better. They fire at the shield just to make sure. I'm going to save my missiles, I think, uh, if I can keep their shield and keep their weapons down. It'll take a little bit longer, but there's no penalty for taking time in these... Kind of conflicts. It's just if you jump, do too many jumps around, um, then you can. Oh no, Stevie, you missed. Useless. Uh, fire. We have to fire a rocket again because I don't want. Oh, you missed again. You're gonna get fired. I'm gonna put Daniel on rocket duty in a minute. Um, come on, take the shields out. There we go. Nearly. God, there. <laughs> They're not doing any damage. Like that. Shields are powerful enough, uh, and I don't want to waste another rocket. Really. Um, take out the shields, please. There we go. Um, so they don't want to run away. You can either choose to accept their kind of bribe, or you can keep on firing. Because I don't, because you're trying to get away uh, rather than kill all the baddies, I'll tend to accept these offers if they're decent. I mean, this one's got three fuel, four missiles, uh, which are going to come in useful, and then they're not going to attack me again. So we can just leave them, leave them be, uh, and not really worry about it. Uh, I'm going to just take a, a slight detour just to uh, pick up some more loot uh, along the way. And there's another one that's hiding again, only got one level of shield. So uh, let's take it. Ah, oh, no, you've got a drone. Ah, damn it. Damn you. Uh, take them, take them, and fire that and that. 
uh, we will spend a missile since we've got plenty of them. And I'll probably die before I get to use all of them as well. Uh, so I, I'm not too careful with the missiles. You probably should be, but uh, I normally die far too quickly to care about it. Come on, Stevie. Hit. There we go. That's, that's how you do it. And so both of his things are down. Luckily, our shields are withstanding from that little annoying thing. <laughs> uh, dear. Come on. Charge faster. And... Oh, you're trying to escape, are you? Uh, let's just take your engines out for good measure. Uh, I don't think he'll be able to do it in time. Come on, come on, charge. I think there are ways of getting these things to charge faster, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, I guess upgraded ones, you will. And there we go. The ship is gone. Woohoo, being successful so far. Two missiles, some some scraps, some drones that I can't blooming use. God damn it. I knew I should have picked the other ship. I knew it. And uh, anyway, now we can go to the exit. And we can get out of here. It's going remarkably smoothly. We've taken a little bit of damage. A little bit more than I would have liked. But uh, not too bad. Too bad. Let's jump to the next sector. Uh, we have a choice of another nebula. Uh, or a mantis. Mantis are horrible. I'm trying to kill them. Because they have these little alien things that board your ship. that are a right pain to kill. Uh, nebulas are always dangerous. Yes, I know. Electronics are dead. So I can't see what's going on in my ship. Which is fun. Uh, we could go to the store. But do I have enough scrap for anything useful? And... Yeah, we're going to the store. Just in case they have a nice weapon that I, I can use. Or a drone bay. A drone bay would be lovely. Um, drone control. They do have a drone control and I can't... I'm one scrap off, actually. If we sell... We've got two defense drones, so we don't need both of them. Um, can we... How do we... How do we sell... Sell? Ah, there we go. Now we can buy a drone control. And then we can actually use our drones. Woohoo! Um, but we don't have enough power. Damn it. We'll get that later. We'll, we'll, we will get that later. Um, but we, we can use them now, which is impressive. It's only a repair drone, but still. Um, you can pick up attack drones and other things along the way. So we might as well, we might as well have it usable. Uh, there's another pirate in here. Yes, we'll take him down. Uh, doo -doo. Missiles. Lasers. And let's hope we can survive. He's got a blooming attack drone. I want one of them. Can we steal that when we kill the pirate? Can we take your drone? Be quite useful. Um, looks like he's got a rocket launcher. Oh crap. Oh no. You took out our drone control, damn you. And you took out our back bit. Um, oh god. It's, 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 now I've got to try and focus. Shields. Missile away. Oh no. Engines. Engines. Uh, no, it doesn't matter at the moment. Don't need to worry about the engines for now. Stevie's missing again. And Oh god. That doesn't sound good. I'm just going to open, vent all of this because there could well be a fire in there. So to try and stop it spreading. Uh, I'm going to open all that and, yeah, hopefully that'll work. This is where the pause bit comes in very, very useful. Um, uh, dude, I'm panicking now. Come on. This was a dumb idea. Accept their offer. Missile, drones, uh, parts, scrap, and a hull. Ooh. Okay. Very well. Ow. You fired. You cheating. You. Ah, there's a fire in the cockpit. Get out of there. Run away. Whoa, there's a fire everywhere. Get out of there. Go over there. Hide. Uh, <laughs> Uh, let's just vent most of the ship over oxygen and try and get those fires out. That's good oh idea. My ship is not looking so healthy. What's going on with the oxygen supply? Is the oxygen broken? No, the oxygen's okay. Woo! Uh, I'll better close them doors again. Sorry, we'll let the oxygen recuperate. Uh, oh, that's broken. Damn it. Um, whew, not that that matters. <laughs> because there's a plumbing sensor array that's broken anyway in here. Okay. So, we are not doing so well uh, <laughs> at the moment. Whew. Right, anyway, I'm going to leave uh, that episode here uh, on this terrible, terrible uh, note. It's all going to pot already. Stevie, go fix the engine. There's enough oxygen in there. Uh, <laughs> yes, if you would like to see more of this, then please leave a comment in the comment section. Leave a like and all of that sort of thing. And we will carry on our adventure in the HMS fail race and hopefully start doing a little bit better. Uh, let's close all of these doors and uh, <laughs> try and get repairing stuff. Jeez, that pirate ship uh, really did give us a bit of a beating. Uh, we'll get rid of you. Don't need you at the moment. Anyway, we will we'll sort that out uh, <laughs> later on. So, yes, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, goodbye.